So back on the project, uh, last time we had the body, got it off the frame. Frame sitting here. I'm going to start trying to clean up some of these body mount sections on the frame here, kind of see what I got. Um, I did get the repair. Okay, I've got these two cleaned up. This is the uh, one towards the front, and then the one midway back. Um, they're pretty bad. I basically use these two tools to clean them up. Um, air power grinder with a little flapper wheel, and then this grinder here. This is what the patch kit basically looks like. It's a washer that you're supposed to weld on here. Um, what I've done is I've modified these couple to these shapes, just basically grinding them. Uh, to make one fit in here and make the other fit in here. This is recessed here, so the full size washer really doesn't fit down in there. So what I'll do is I'll trace the edge of those and I'm gonna I'm gonna cut out a hole that's the same size as what those washers are. Um, I was originally thinking of just welding these right on top um, and do all of them so I get the same height but um, I really think that that's going to be a huge moisture trap and you know I'm, I'm not selling this car I'm keeping it I don't want it to last forever so um, I'm going to cut that out and weld these things down in is going to be the plan. So I was really concerned on how to get these in the right place because these holes are so rotted out I really can't tell exactly where center is. Um, if I go back here this is one of the body mounts and it's not rotted out I was able to go to a place called the Roadster Shop, which um, they make some really nice high-end cars. Uh, they are about a 30-minute drive from my house. They had a GMA body frame out there that they had taken off and were doing a frame, uh, one of their aftermarket frame conversions. It must have been from the south. It certainly wasn't from around Chicago. Uh, it was in good shape. Um, so I took measurements based from this hole to this hole. To this hole and then I measured from the outside edge of the frame in and then I use this body mount hole uh, over to the one that's rotted out here um, so now I got distance you know this way front to back and side to side so I'm going to start with this one in the middle here um, the blue is a uh, layout die uh, called Dicom uh, it just describes real easy so I am going to get the washer our uh, patch panel. We'll get it set in here. I'm going to measure from that hole over to this one and my dimension is 32 and an eighth and then from the outside edge to the inside of the hole there or outside of the hole is uh, 935 thousandths. Alright I scribed around the hole so that's going to be what I grind. Boy there's not a lot of metal there. There is the cutout hole. How I did that was, uh, if you remember, I traced it. And I used a Dremel tool with a fiber cutoff reel, wheel and just kind of came in here and just kind of chiseled it out the best I could. And then came in here with uh, the air grinder, a grinding wheel, and came in and finished it off around the edge like this to result in A pretty good fitting patch panel fits right in there so I'm gonna tack that in I need to be able to hold the, the patch piece in place here um, so what I did was I made up a, this board here you can see it's got a little bit of a recess just did that with a table saw um, the patch piece is thicker by about 50 thousandths than what the frame is the frame steel I don't know if that's just because it's so thin because it was rusted or, or, or what, but um, so what the plan is going to be is to get this guy clamped in on the inside like that, and then I'll clamp that to the, uh, to the board itself. So I've got the board clamped in with these two clamps here, and this guy sits right on top of it. I'll take this clamp. up over the top and then clamp that to the board. Okay I just got that one tacked in. Um, a welder I'm not. 
I'm gonna grind those down a little bit, see how they look. So uh, clean it up a little bit with grinding. Um, I'm gonna go in there and tack that in some more. Um, I think it'll be okay. So let me show you a little bit what I'm doing for measuring here. So from the frame that I uh, saw without a body on it at the roadster shop, um, I took measurements from the various locations on the frame. So to locate these washers, I basically took a measurement from this hole. Now that I have this welded in here, I can do that. Now it's 27 and a quarter over from here. And then I took a measurement from this hole here. And I was five and three eighths over from there. And I located the washer. And I scribed around the outside. If you can see that or not, I'll scribe like. But now I'll just start chiseling away at that with uh, the Dremel tool and the grinder. finished product. That's the washer that'll go in there. Um, it fits in there. I want to get the uh, wooden block uh, in there underneath to hold it up. But you just got to go slow. Um, you know, probably took me total when I started with the Dremel tool, I don't know, 30 minutes. But just go slow and, and it works out okay. So I need to get my board in underneath here to hold up the washer. Um, I can't clamp it like I did on the other one. So, um, I'll show you the contraption I made up. It took me about 10 minutes. It's a scrap piece of steel. I drilled and tapped the hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that down inside here. Okay. To the inside of the frame. And then I'm going to take this threaded rod. Okay. I'll come up through the bottom. So it'll come up through the bottom here. Got this little piece of thing that I threaded. Okay. So what'll happen is this will be up against the bottom of the uh, bottom of the wood. And then as I wind this up, it'll tighten the wood up against the inside of the top of the frame and this will wedge against the bottom of the uh, inside of the bottom frame. So here's that thing in the hole. Um, this is the part that's going to push against the wood. So as I screw this thing up from the bottom, it'll then pinch the wood up against the inside of the... Uh... So there's the wood in place. And you can kind of see that little... It's like a jack screw that I made. So let's get the washer. There's a patch panel. Put it in place. Boom. So there we go. Um, I cleaned up the dicum so I got something good solid to weld to. Got my clamps in. Um, underneath is that jack screw thing that I made right there. Working pretty good. So now. Alright, so I got uh, two of these done. It's one in the middle on the driver's side, the one in the front on the uh, driver's side. Uh, not the prettiest welds in the world, but I think they'll hold. One thing for sure is I'm not a welder. I mean, what I'm using for a welder is uh, this guy right here, Harbor Freight and Salvage Special, uh, 90 amp uh, wire welder. I think I picked it up on sale for 89 bucks. So the frame mount locations are all done, all five of them. There's one, two, three, four, and then five in the back. Now time to focus on the body for the ones that are rotted out on the body.